video and today I'm bringing you some Rainbow Six Siege beta gameplay from the PlayStation 4 version of the game. Um, this is of the new Terrorist Hunter mode, which just released like today or something as of me recording this, like the 26th of September or something along those lines. Um, so in today's video I just want to give some of my quick very first impressions of uh, the beta and how it stacks up. Um, I have some PvP experience. And I'd like to have more, but as you've probably heard, if you've been keeping in touch with the beta, the matchmaking is completely atrocious. Uh, I would argue some of the worst I've ever seen. Uh, it just does not work. I was invited to the closed technical beta, which was, albeit designed to, you know, they said there would be problems, blah, blah, blah. But the game was non-functional for me for the entirety of the uh, closed technical test. Um, so now once we're in open beta, yeah, I can get into games maybe once every half an hour, 40 minutes, but uh, most of the time I'm just sitting in menus waiting um, and whenever I do find teams, sometimes the game just locks up or freezes or doesn't function at all. So on the very basics already to start out with, this game has been quite a disappointment already. Um, so we'll try and ignore that and assume that that might be finished and, and, and fixed for launch, which personally I doubt um, because the, the problems are so deep rooted. Uh, but we'll we'll try and imagine that, that the matchmaking problems don't exist and we'll try and jump into what my very first impressions of the game are. So, um, first things first, one thing I'd like to discuss is the visuals um, because the game did look very pretty back in its initial reveal and I just want to make a quick point on um, how it stacks up nowadays. Um, so, in my opinion, like recent Ubisoft titles, this game has been downgraded graphically from what they initially showed us. Um, I don't think the initial reveal was pre-rendered or anything like that. I just think they've really toned down um, the visuals, like the lighting, uh, the colors, the character models, the animations. They're not. They're definitely not on the level that I was expecting coming from the initial reveal. Um, textures are flat on walls a lot of the time. Uh, Textures from far away are very blurry. You saw at the beginning of this gameplay probably that the grass looked really steel. I really don't know how else to put it. It just looked very bland and uh, not very detailed at all. Um, the weapon models look li nice enough if a little blurry in places. The hand models look very nice. Uh, but yeah, it's a bit of a mixed bag, I gotta say. Um, weirdly enough, another thing, uh, when I was playing the terrorist hunt here, this was one of the first matches I was actually able to play, given the bad matchmaking of the game. And, um, so, it, it I mean, either Terrorist Hunt is designed to run in 30 frames per second because of the AI in place, or it's just incredibly unoptimized for some strange reason. Um, so what I heard was that this game was meant to run at 60 frames per second, uh, which, when I look at the game visually, that kind of makes sense, even though it could look a lot better, I think, for a 60 frames a second game, you know, following games like Metal Gear Solid 5 and, and recently Halo 5, which actually looks really good now. Um, but yeah, I mean, the game looks like a 60 frames per second game, uh, and in Terrorist Hunt, it's really low, like, I was guessing around 25 frames a second average, it felt really choppy. Normally, I don't mind 33 frames a second if it's locked, like Destiny. For example, Destiny feels completely fine, because very rarely do you see any dips in the frame rate. But in Terrorist Hunt, it seems to be 30 frames a second, uh, and it is wildly inconsistent. It probably drops to like 20 or so from time to time, which makes it feel really choppy and, you know, not that, you know, intuitive to play. The strange thing is that the normal PvP of what I got to play with it uh, was a pretty steady 60 frames per second. So we've got perhaps one half of the game which is 30 frames a second and another half which is 60. Which is just incoherent, inconsistent. Uh, it's just, you know, I just don't like to see that in any game where one half of the game is totally different than feel to the other. It just it isn't nice for the completeness of, you know, what you're buying. You want to feel like what you're buying is a consistent package. That doesn't help it. Um, so, Terrorist Hunt, just quick quick impressions. I liked the overall idea of it. Um, there's different difficulties. This was the lowest one, which is normal. And we were already kind of struggling. Um, 
So, I like that idea of having to really take things careful for a terrorist infested building. It feels quite true to life as far as a video game can be, and I can imagine with friends this mode would be quite fun, if a little short lived. Um, in terms of PvP, uh, I have had an okay time with it. I feel like the gadgets and stuff and planning and everything would be quite fun with friends. However, with randoms, it's just a little bit all over the place. I kind of, I mean, this is a very first impressions, keep in mind, I haven't been able to play. I think I've really only played maybe two and a half matches, maybe three and a half matches of PvP in total. Um, and that's just down to the fact that I cannot, for the life of me, find any games due to the matchmaking. Um, but, yeah, I mean, th the feel of the game in 60fps in PvP feels quite nice. It does feel like a heavier shooter. Uh, it feels nice to control. I like how, you know, some would call it clunky. I kind of like how true to life it feels. I like how the animations take a while to play out because of, you know, weapons are heavy in real life. And, um, I don't know. I just I just like how you actually feel like you're carrying gear and stuff. It's quite nice. Uh, in regard to balance in the PvP, I have a big issue with some things. Um, so there's a big issue for me right now, and again, I don't know if this can be countered or not, and if it can, it isn't really communicated that well, but what's dominating the PvP right now is just people picking up shields and walking along, and if somebody approaches you with a shield, um, you're kind of stuck, you're kind of cornered, uh, you can blast at their shield all you like, more than likely than not, they're just going to blast you away with the pistol and there's not much you can do about it. What would be great is to have a teammate flank that guy, and that's probably the counter they have in mind, if I had to guess. But there's a lack of communication, really, in public PvP, and that's just not really feasible, especially because all teammates are generally trying to defend different parts of the house sometimes, or even attack different parts of the house when you're searching for the objective. Um, the gunplay feels nice enough. I love how they replaced the... I know in the alpha they had hit markers, now they've replaced it with bright red blood so that you can't spray for your wall and just, you know, look for your hit markers and don't have to see the guy. Um, you get a red hit marker if you kill someone and that's about it, which is what I like. Um, overall, longevity of the game, I feel like this might be another Titanfall at first. I don't know how the unlock system works really in depth, but from what it seems, it's you'll unlock a couple of things for one class and you're done with it. And there's a good few classes to work with, but again, none of them are really too deep from what I've noticed, um, so I don't know if this game is going to last that long. Anyway, those are just my first impressions. Thanks for watching, and we'll see how this game turns out. I'll keep you updated. See ya.